All right, gonna show you a really crazy video demonstrating, further proving, by the way, Stephen Anderson's cult-like uh, diatrophy style mentality and control he exercises over his followers of his little cult that he runs out there in Phoenix, Arizona. This was a video that, um, I think the ar actual argument occurred about two years ago or whatever, but basically Anderson just loses it over a disloyal church member. And just, just watch what he says. I'm gonna play the whole clip for yourself. It's about four minutes and 55 seconds long. I'll play the whole thing and just, you can watch for yourself and just see how Anderson acts and how he just screams, I'm the man of God, L listen to me, I'm the man of God. You be quiet, you know, it, he, he goes nuts. Okay, watch this. Okay, you know, I'm sick of your crap anyway. Okay, yes, you do have an issue. You it out. You have an issue with me. Hey, you know what? You're one of the people that's always asking me stupid questions and grilling me. And you know what? You, 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 you have an issue with me. I'm sick of it. You're hanging out at Foster's house for two hours just so you don't bother calling me and asking my opinion. If you had a concern, why don't you bring it to me? Okay? If you have a concern, give me a call. It's funny how you can spend two hours at this house talking to him, but you can't contact me. I'm through putting up with people like you. You're out. Get out. I'm through putting up with people that are here. I'm sorry. Get out. I'm sick of people that are just here to figure out what's wrong with me and want to pick me apart. If you don't like it, then get out, okay? Get out. I'm not taking your side. You're not taking my side either. Get out, okay? Go find a pastor you can support and not be going around talking crap about me. You know, it's not enough that you go on. I was going to say, he pulled me aside and going soul winning and talk about how I don't agree with that. I'm like this. Get out! You want to get out right now about how you're Hey, stop, stop it. Hey, let me talk for a second. I'm the pastor of the church. Let me introduce myself. Okay? Let me tell you something real quick. Okay? Hey, I'm the pastor of the church. I have to make hard decisions. I had to make a hard decision about coronavirus. That's stupid. Are you flat or stupid? I'm working through my stuff. I have issues, but I'm not trying to bring anybody Hey, down. we're done working through your stuff. Get out. I'm done. Look, are we done working through stuff with people? Do we just want to take people aside and talk crap? Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. 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 Didn't bother asking me, just over at the enemy's house for hours yesterday, and won't call me. What? You know my number? Why don't you call me? Why don't you talk to me? I'm going to invite you to sit here and preach for an hour and a half and pour it out my heart, and you're slumped over, smirking at me the whole time. And then I come up and say, hey, what's your issue? Uh, well, I just, uh, you know, I'm just concerned about this text. Then leave, okay? Leave. I'm done with your crap. Listen, I'm trying to grow in the Lord. And I'm not a perfect person, and I'm trying to keep this hey, there's 40 other independent Baptist churches. There are, there's 40 independent Baptist churches. They're all King James. I can show you 15 of them that go soul winning. You have an issue with me, and I'm done pastoring people like you. This is a new, everybody, we're in it. We're yeah. part of the thing. It's a new era. But then I have to forget it. They never do it again. I move my whole family here. I, I want to be involved. I have to Okay, but you know what? Get your fine. Justin, you know what? I forgive you. Get, get your crap. I want to. I know you I know I can. Please do. And you know what? I have nothing to say to you about this. I done having my nose and my kids' nose rubbed in it. And you know what? You need to stop any of this. Whatever you're doing, you need to stop. Okay? I forgive you, Justin. You can stay here, but, but you, you hate your crap. I want to be a better man, and I, I, I want to. No one else. Don't. All right. We're, it's over. We're done. Okay. You know what? Any, look, if anybody has an issue with me, just leave. Okay? Just leave. I'm done putting up with this crap. I put up with this pretty long. I'm done putting up with this. Okay? I don't see you guys up here blowing smoke. I, I, I've never talked to you about an hour and a half. I meant what I said. Right. I'm not playing games. And you know what? And, and look, 
Nobody has to be here. I'm not trying to make anybody uncomfortable. I am not going to be dumped on anymore. I'm not going to be mean that. You haven't, and listen, if anybody has an issue with me, come to me and talk to me. Isn't that wonderful? So Stephen Anderson just, again, proving the kind of Pope-like, cult-like, diatrophy-style mentality he has and control over his followers. Just screaming, oh, I'm the man of God. Sit down and listen. I'm the man of God. You know? Yeah. I'm going to read some scripture, okay? Again, Third John 1, 9. Uh, but I wrote unto the church, sorry, I wrote unto the church, but Diotrephes, who loveth to have the preeminence among them, receiveth us not. That's Anderson. He's a Diotrephes. Just like any, uh, uh, Pope, he wants to have, dia uh, sorry, he wants to have preeminence like Diotrephes. And here's a really good scripture that really kicks Anderson's uh, Diotrephes-like mentality. Mark chapter 10, verses 42 to 45. The King James Bible will go there. Mark chapter 10, verse 42 to 45. But Jesus called them to him, and saith unto them, Ye know that they, which are accounted to rule over the Gentiles, exercise lordship over them, and their great ones exercise authority upon them. But so shall it not be among you, but whosoever will be great among you shall be your minister, and whosoever, whosoever of you will be the chiefest shall be the servant of all. For even the Son of Man came not to be ministered unto, but to minister, and to give his life a ransom for many." The role of a, of a bishop and overseer is to be a, a servant and minister unto his flock, to, to shepherd them, basically. Okay? Not rule over them and scream at them and yell at them and have a pope-like control over them. Okay? Anderson is just basically, oh, I'm the man of God. You see, the thing about calling yourself the man of God is that whenever you read it, for example, in 1 Timothy chapter 6, verse 11, you know, man of God is just simply referring to a servant, you know, a saint who serves God. It's not some kind of official title for clergy. You know, I'm the man of God. He use it as a title. Man, again, read First Timothy chapter six, verse eleven. Okay, man of God just, just simply refers to someone who just serves God. It's not some kind of title for clergy, but you see, Anderson uh, uses that, and then he basically says, "Hey, listen to me. I'm the man of God." Why? He's a cult leader. That's simple. He's a Diotrephes. So, I just want to show you that more proof that Anderson is in fact a cult leader, and is. And uh, by the way, I am ex I'm, I used to be part of the whole new IFB system, and believe me, it is a cult. Okay. Don't, don't kid me. So anyway, don't be deceived. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye. Thank you.